The Hippodrome Theater in Gainesville, Florida has been said to be haunted for years. Built in 1911, once serving as a post office and a courthouse. They say prisoners used to be kept in the basement while awaiting their trials. In 1973, a group of actors founded the Hippodrome Theater. Today, this historic landmark sits in downtown with several years of claims of haunting history. Once you, once you know you're by yourself up there, the energy definitely shifts. After communicating with management at the HIP, I was granted access to do the first ever real paranormal investigation there. You're watching Hunting the Dead, and this is the Haunted Hippodrome Theater. Okay, I just got to my hotel. It's pouring rain. The weather's getting a little bit crazy, but um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That could fuel the energy tonight for my investigation. I'm gonna try and get out without getting any of my stuff wet, though. Okay guys, I just got done talking to Shane. I just got talking to one of the actors here. I feel so much here right now. And they've told me, they've given me a lot of information about this place. Now my investigation begins tonight um, with feeling what I'm feeling right now, with what they've told me, the tools I have, we should be able to come in here and turn shit up a notch. One of the things is, so we now have this amazing basement that's, you know, constructed and put together. But before, when we were putting it together, we um, used to sneak down there when we weren't supposed to. And at one point we did a show uh -huh. um, that was all over the building. And my coworker that I was working with during the show, she was upstairs and I was upstairs. And um, there was definitely a dog howling that we kept hearing and we went to the basement. But we would hear like a dog howling a lot when we were. Really? And no dog in the building? No, yeah. we were the only ones who right. locked the front door. It was, we'd be here like late at night working on this piece because the piece was done. It started at like 11 p.m. It was like a tour of the, right. of the building. Um, so yeah, that was a good experience. All right, so have you had any paranormal experiences in here yourself? And could you tell us? what other people have told you about what they've experienced here um when i started here i was told that the third floor is pretty creepy but if you're at yourself if you're by yourself at night mm -hmm. um and typically us costumers are we'll be upstairs in the costume shop we might be doing some notes before we leave for the night and um so i've always been told that there's like a woman on the third floor a woman in a black dress um i didn't know if i believed that but I have had the experience of one night being in the costume shop and out of the corner of my eye I saw something walk I saw someone walk by our door and I was like oh it's either you know the stage manager or our sound girl so I went to see who it was and there was no one else in the building we were there by ourselves so that was pretty weird and I asked them later on when I saw them the next day I was like didn't you say goodbye did you come back up here did you forget something and they said that they weren't here so Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Right now, I'm in the historic district of downtown Gainesville. I'm here at the Hippodrome Theater. Right now, I'm getting ready to start the first real ever paranormal investigation here. Okay, so right now we're on the third floor. Is there somebody in here? Wow, look at that picture right there. Dude. That is amazing. Dude, did you feel something when you came off the elevator? Yeah. Because you had a look on your face, but you didn't say anything. 
Yeah, I felt like something like he gave me like a little like push. When you were coming off the elevator or while you were on? Well, I was like coming off. Okay. All right, go ahead and tell us about this spot right here. So this is the judge's staircase. That's what I've been told that this was closed to the public mm -hmm. and only the judge would come up the staircase. That way he could get to the courtroom. And um, this is definitely a creepy staircase. I think maybe because of the turns, but there's a lot of people who said they've been pushed down the stairs. Absolutely hate yeah. that stairwell. Yeah. Something makes me feel uncomfortable yeah. every time I'm in there. I always get chills when I'm walking down that staircase. There is an actress who fell down the stairs and dislocated her shoulder. Um, people have gotten really injured on it, so when I go up it, I make sure I'm extra careful, but also it's not always welcoming in here. <laughs> if it's true, it's definitely not welcoming in here. And that's the judge's staircase. There's lots of sounds in this place. I can see how somebody was in here walking around by themselves. The old building settling, the cracks in the floor. I mean, that right there could maybe do something to you. I thought I just heard something. I was getting hit with energies at every single angle. So I decided to take some pictures in the glass leading into the bathroom. As you can see in this last picture, there appears to be an anomaly or something possibly manifesting itself behind the glass. Something definitely worth sharing and something we definitely should not write off. Okay, so right now I'm sweeping with the thermal. Thought I seen somebody there. Thought I seen somebody there. Hello? Alright, this wasn't going off the whole time while we were upstairs. It was going off in my backpack and I thought maybe it's going off because I have all the other equipment in there. But I bring it out and it starts going off like crazy right here. Is there somebody here? You know you're making that go off right now. It takes a lot to make this go off. Especially like that, holy shit. What? You guys know, man, you watch my videos. You know it takes a lot to make the meter go off. Especially like that. Don't move, don't move, stop. But we would hear like a dog howling a lot. At this moment, I knew that I heard something. I didn't know what it was, but upon evidence reviewal, I would come to find out that it was a dog or a wolf sounding like Hal, which made me remember what the young lady told me in the beginning. Who are you? Can you tell us your name? Can you speak into this camera? Do you realize what's happened to you? Are you still trying to find the answers? They say this is the most haunted hotspot in this building. And as soon as we come in here, this goes off. I felt something. My name's Jody. I'm investigator of the paranormal. I communicate with the dead. I work with the dead. I hunt the dead. I'm somebody you can talk to here. Right now, I got two EMF pumps right there. Those will fuel any air 
any energy in the air and make it easier for somebody to communicate. Is there a Daryl here? Were you awaiting trial here? Does somebody you know work here? Did somebody... Hi. Who are you? I just felt like I walked into a spider web right here and this is the cleanest place in the world. There is no spider webs here. Hello? What's back there? That's the green room and we can go in there? Okay. Original yeah. prison toilets right here. Jail toilets, prison toilets. Is it jail or yeah. prison? I oh. do not know. Holy it was probably the whole, sh whole yeah. shebang back then. Whatever. It was all the same. All right. Well, you've seen one toilet. You've seen them all, but we're going to go ahead and look at them. Yeah. Hello. Is this a, like an original shower here? Or is sure it not, not sure about the shower? Okay. Did anybody hurt you while you were in here? Was there any police officers? Anybody that was mean to you? There's nothing that should be making it go off like that from what I can see. I mean, I'm gonna sit in here by myself real quick. All right, right now, I'm sitting on one of the original prison toilets here. Hello, what is your name? That? There's a lot of talk of people will be in their offices by themselves and they'll see someone walking by in the hallway when they knew there was no one there. I just absolutely hate yeah. that stairwell. Yeah. Something makes me feel uncomfortable yeah. every time I'm in there. I always get chills when I'm walking down that staircase. Alright, we really can't do much out here right now because there's just a tremendous amount of noise. But this is the block, uh, this is the area where they used to execute people right here. They used to hang people right here. Okay, and at the end of the hallway there. Oh, what was that? I just felt something like touch my 
shoulder. Well, maybe it's just the girl. She was bringing back up the elevator, right? Mm -hmm. Is she coming up this way? It'd be right here. Well, if it's coming up on that side. What did you feel like? I felt like something like pushed my shoulder. Dude, you were down here for two seconds. just felt like he got touched down here again. He said he felt earlier like somebody touched him when he was coming off the elevator. But then he definitely just got scared. Look at that. Look at the old safe door. Is there somebody in here right now, what? Whoa. I thought it was me. Does somebody you know work up here? Dude. You heard that one? Okay. There you can see the projection booth. She just opened that up for me. I'm going to go up there in a minute. But I just took a picture over here a second ago. And it looks like a person is standing right here in the middle of this doorway. You can see the shoulders. You can see the shape of a head. And you can see the upper torso. And then it kind of just fades out. But you guys seen that picture. I mean, does it look like a person standing there? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you push me? Whoa. I just said, can you push me in? I felt like something pushed me. Look at look, 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 look. All right, here we go up into the projection booth right now. Not a lot of room to move around. We're probably not going to spend but a second in here. Can't even really see out there too well. That the picture is playing, of course. I'm just curious. I'm gonna sit here just for a second. Hello? Yes. That thing is creepy and awesome. I love it. It's horribly awesome. Dude, 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 dude. Did you see that? No. That thing just moved right there. That just moved. What is that? What is that? Hold on. Right here. Is there somebody behind there? It sounded like this said no.
two. Yeah, it was crazy. It looked like somebody just... Look, hold... Here. Dude, that was crazy. That thing just... Ants. And that's still going off right there. Just, like, moved just a little bit. And he wasn't nowhere near it, and neither was I. Hello? Dude, that definitely said hello. You heard that? Yeah. If there's anybody here, can you give me a sign, please? second place is the basement for me and the prison bathrooms the original prison bathrooms which are downstairs in the basement there's definitely an intense feeling in here there's no doubt there are emf spikes here and there there's a high emf field there's a lot of cracks and things in here that could really mess with somebody that's locking up at night Is there anything you want to say to anybody here? A message? Can you speak into this device right now? Is there anything you want to say to your family, your friends that work here maybe? Okay guys, Jody Dean here, Mr. Hunting the Dead. I just wrapped up my investigation here at the Hippodrome Theater in downtown Gainesville. Definitely had some experiences here, uh, caught some activity, heard some voices, heard footsteps. Anthony got touched, I got touched. Of course, you know I always get touched, man. Um, the girls were really nice. Everybody here at the Hippodrome was really nice to us. It's a great place. They're doing lots of good things. If you're in downtown Gainesville, don't hesitate to stop by and check them out. And be sure to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Like my videos. Leave comments below. Share. Sharing is caring. Huntingthedead.com. If you want that HTD merch, HTD4life.com. It's Jody Dean. I'm out of here. <laughs>